Virgo. Let's see. You have patience and planning and base chakra and crown chakra, okay? So you have 717. I'm picking up something about someone's phone number. Maybe like 717, like 717 or 177 or 771 could be like, I don't know, like the middle, the middle number of a phone number or something like that. But um, yeah, patience and planning, base chakra and crown chakra. Um, I feel like. You've made up your mind about something, uh, Virgo. Um, you're going to have a new beginning. Just, okay, just straightforward. You're going to have a new beginning. You have base chakra with the number one on it. So I kind of feel like that's the ace of wands, a new beginning, a new start. Yeah, you've already made this up in your mind. Um, you're just trying to figure out or someone is trying to figure out how they're going to go about doing this. You could be seeing gnats again, Virgo, or flies. Someone is spying on you. They're trying to figure out exactly what you're doing. They know that you're up to something. Because you won't tell them your every move, you won't tell them what you're doing. So they're spying on you spiritually, stalking you. Okay. Your right eye could be twitching. So basically, you have good news coming in regarding money and this new beginning. Some of you are starting a new job, a new career path. What is patience and planning? Yes, yeah, sacrifice. You know that you have to make sacrifices. You know that you're making sacrifices. The right sacrifices you have fertility yeah in order to have this new beginning you know that you have to make sacrifices which you are like you don't have a problem or you don't mind making sacrifices this is a spiritual pregnancy i mean this could be an actual pregnancy but i feel like this is spiritual like you're thinking about doing something and you're brainstorming about how to go about um, getting this, this plan out or this idea out. Okay. What is crown chakra? What is crown chakra? You have suffering and silence. So... Someone is suffering in silence. Someone is in their mind. They're in their head. They can't stop overthinking or I don't know. It's like someone is overthinking or they're thinking too much to the point where it's causing them to be depressed or sad or something like that. What is suffering in silence yet yeah, destiny or someone is suffering in silence because of this ace of wands yeah like someone is sad or they're in their head because you won't tell them what you're doing or you won't tell them what you're up to and they feel sad or depressed or something like that or isolated 
because you won't tell them exactly what you're doing. You have intuition. Virgo, someone also feels like you're pregnant. They feel like you're hiding a pregnancy. You're not. But then it's like all of a sudden their intuition is kicking in. Their intuition is telling them that is, you know, you're moving on. That's pretty much what it is. You're moving on. You've moved on. This could be someone in their uh, 50s, like their late 50s, early 60s. Or your intuition is telling you to move on. Don't look back. Yeah, you may be a little bit upset about this or sad about this, but I feel like once your plans start moving, you know, once you start taking steps towards this new beginning, you'll start to feel better. I feel like right now your intuition is guiding you and you should listen to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you to leave, leave. Okay. What is moving on? Yeah, movement, choices, and decisions. Okay. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, you have a new beginning here, Virgo. And you... um. You have people, it's like a specific person. This is a woman. I don't know who this is, but this could be like an, an older relative. This could be an aunt, maybe even your mother or a grandmother, a sister or something like that. Whoever this person is, they're in their head about your new beginning. It's like they want to know what you're doing, what you're up to, every move that you're making. You won't tell them. And I feel like it's not because you're being secretive. It's just that... I mean, you're grown, you're a grown woman, you're a grown man. Why do you, why would you uh, feel the need to tell someone else exactly what you're doing? You're not a child. You don't have to report back to this person. So someone is obviously nosy, like they don't have any boundaries, I guess. They feel like they have a right to know this. Now, this name that I'm getting ready to say, I don't think this name is common, but I'm picking up on a name. The name is D'Erica. I don't know why I'm, I'm picking up the name of D'Erica. Like that could be someone's name or Erica, Derica or something like that. Demetria. Someone's name starts with a D. Or this could be their middle name. Yeah, choose wisely. I feel like you are choosing wisely. You are choosing wisely. Okay. Who is this person? Who is this person? that feels entitled to know what Virgo is up to. Who is this person? The sun, this could be a Leo. This could be a Leo or there's a Leo involved.
yeah, you know exactly who this person is or this person is going to come to light or you're going to figure it out. Okay, this could be a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. What is the sun? So, the sun. You could have a child with this person. So this could be their mother, like your mother-in-law or something like that. Like I can understand if this is your mother-in-law or your ex-mother-in-law or something like that. I can understand but I feel like if you're no longer with this person, why does it why does it matter what you're up to? Why do they care if you're not with their son anymore or if you're not with their daughter anymore, but you do have a child together? So their grandchild. I feel like that's just an excuse. Yeah, that's just an excuse. What is the sun? You're going to notice your mother-in-law or your ex-mother-in-law coming around more often. Yeah. Three of swords, they're heartbroken. Or sad or something like that. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords. As I was saying, it's because you have this new beginning. And they're worried. I just don't understand like why they're so worried about it, about you. Could be a Scorpio. What is the Nine of Swords? The full could be an Aries, or there's like an Aries here. Yeah, eight of cups, seven of cups. So there's not an actual clear reason why they're worried, or you know, why they're why they feel like they're suffering because of this. This could be jealousy or envy. I feel like your new beginning has nothing to do with this person. It doesn't have anything to do with this person. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. This could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they're constantly comparing themselves to you. So that's what I'm picking up on, Virgo. Once again, I still don't understand why they're heartbroken because you have a new beginning. Yeah, because they're jealous, they're envious, because they don't have a new beginning or something like that. But someone's name definitely starts with a D. Okay. 
okay virgo so yeah that's all for this message okay and yeah you have abundance prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land there is enough abundance for everyone okay yeah all of this because you're abundant and they wish they could be abundant I feel like this is someone's mother-in-law, ex-mother-in-law, or someone's mother or mother figure, an aunt, or something like that. All right, Virgo.